Hello, and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Bash, and <laughs> I mean, admittedly, my opinion is you probably shouldn't write Bash, but if you need to, uh, I'm gonna show you how coding works. Admittedly, you're gonna probably use this for typing a command line anyway. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be talking about the two types of quotes in Bash, uh, single quotes and double quotes, how they're different, and how you can nest them, and the kind of fiddly syntax for that. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Let's get to the right place. <laughs> okay, so there are two different types of quotes in Bash. Um, well, I guess kind of there's three because you can leave things unquoted. We're not going to really talk about unquoted. Uh, in my opinion, you should be quoting all of your arguments. Uh, but there are two types. One is single quotes and the other is double quotes. And for a lot of the things, they work exactly the same. They're just a way to wrap stuff and make it a single argument rather than you know two arguments here. Um, single quotes are often referred to as hard quotes. The reason they are referred to as hard quotes versus soft quotes here is they treat their contents literally. So if you were to put like, hello, dollar user world, uh, this is, looks like a variable lookup, but because it is inside single quotes, the dollar sign is not interpreted as a, you know, as a variable lookup. Uh, you'll also notice that if I put like bang bang in here, which we did a video about, uh, this will not expand to the previous command. Uh, basically, expansions and, well, expansions, variable expansions and other expansions do not take effect inside single quotes. <clears throat> this often means, or at least what this means to me is that single quotes are the safer quoting type uh, because they won't have unintended side effects based on their contents. Now, with double quotes, you can do interpolations like that. So, hello, dollar sign user world uh, will expand. So, this will be a variable lookup for the user. And you know, if you put bang bang in here, that'll be the previous command will get substituted as well. Um, so substitutions and, and expansions are supported inside double quotes. Um, and that's the basics behind this. You know, you usually use single quotes because you don't want uh, random things to expand and double quotes are needed if you need to do any sort of uh, interpolation or substitution. Now, the tricky thing is uh, putting a single quote inside of a single quote or a double quote inside of a double quote, uh, you are able to nest double quotes inside single quotes, uh, like so, and you can nest uh, single quotes inside double quotes. That should seem fairly straightforward, uh, but you can't do the opposite. You can't put a single quote inside of a single quote, uh, and you can't put a double quote inside of a double quote, except you kind of can. I'm going to show you the syntax for that, and explain how I got to that syntax. Uh, but first to explain that syntax, I need to show you that you can mix both types of quotes. So you can do, uh, you know, one string is a, a single quoted string and another string is a double quoted string and you'll end up with, I mean, it kind of prints, let's put hello, hello world. Uh, it, it prints those two arguments separately. So this is one argument represented here and then this argument represented here. So you can mix single quotes and double quotes within uh, a command. And if you butt them right up next to each other, they concatenate into a single argument. So this is this is string concatenation in bash. And you can mix and match those. You can, you can put a single quote next to a single quote, you can put a double quote next to a single quote, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the trick that we're going to use to allow us to nest quotes inside of single quoted strings. Uh, or double quoted strings, I mean, depending on which string type you're dealing with. So let's say that we wanted to do hello and then a single quote and then world. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually end those two single quoted strings. I'm going to separate them out so that they're easier to see. Uh, and then we're going to put a double quoted string in the middle of it. So we can put a single quote inside here. These are our three string parts, one, two, and three. Um, and this will allow us to put a single quote in there, and then we're gonna butt those up against each other so that we don't have extra white space in the middle. And so we have a single argument that contains this single quote inside of it. Now we get this kind of funny looking five character sequence. What this is doing is it is ending this single quote, it is starting a double quote, and then it is ending that double quote and then starting a single quote. So we kind of have three literals jammed together there uh, to make this look nicely. There is another way that you can do this with a backslash. Um, I personally don't like the backslash just because it, it leaves a quoting context and it's not easy to nest them. And uh, there's all sorts of 
fiddly things with escape sequences. And, you know, if you're dealing with another programming language running this, you probably would then have to like double escape it and it just gets complicated quickly. Uh, so I tend to prefer this. Uh, and the same goes for the opposite direction. Now, usually you don't do the opposite direction, but if you had hello, you would end the double quote, start the single quote, put a double quote, end the single quote, start the double quote, and then do this, um, and so you kind of have the, the opposite uh, five character sequence here. Now, this can sometimes be hard to remember, so fortunately in Python, there is a helper utility in the shellex module, the shell lexing module, uh, called quote, which allows you to um, produce that character sequence for you. Shell, shellex thought quote, um, let's say we had hello single quote world, and it will give you the equivalent hard quote string that has um, you know, the, the character sequence there. And of course, you can nest this. So if you needed a more complicated version of this, you could uh, go further. <laughs> now, one thing that you'll notice about this more complicated version is um, it does produce what we want. It produces the, the one level up. Uh, but there are some you know, subtle inefficiencies here. Like there is an empty single quoted string here that we could kind of optimize out. Um, produce the same result. So it's not optimal, but it'll at least give you a correct result. Um, so that's single quotes and double quotes of bash. There is one other thing that I wanted to cover quickly, which is backticks, uh, which make a subshell. So, um, so we did echo high in backticks, for instance, this will produce high and then this command will get high as an argument. Uh, I don't like using backticks at all in bash. Uh, the main reason is they are not nestable. You can't put another subshell inside of this. Well, you can, but it's it's a little fiddly and buggy and doesn't always work correctly. Uh, so what I prefer to do is use soft quotes and a dollar sign parentheses subshell. Uh, this one can be nested. Um, so, you know, echo, oops, echo, hello, dollar user. So you can see here we can nest these as many times as we need to. I note that uh, we can nest double quotes in here as well. So like this subshell context here, this double quote is a completely separate uh, context due to these parentheses. Um, now, of course, this is this is a silly example. You wouldn't really uh, <laughs> do this, but um, you, you can. You can have literal contents and then put a, a subshell inside of it. So I tend to prefer subshells over backticks. This really, this could be a separate video, but Figured I'd tack it on the end here. Uh, but anyway, that's quotes and bash. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.